Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Well, well, well. Good evening. I'm sorry, but you know, the rain is, I don't know. I'm having some problems because of the rain. Creo que la mayoría estamos teniendo problemas de por la lluvia. Yo también estoy teniendo problemas por la lluvia. Creo que ya se solucionaron todos. All right, if not, pero si no, uf, ya les aviso. Yo esperaría que no dé ningún problema porque el día de hoy pues no hay no está permitido suspender clase. Y de ser así me tendría que mover a otro lugar. La más, la más cercana pues está a, a 20 minutos, media hora. Pero bueno, lo bueno es que hay lluvia, right? Good thing we have rain because it was really hot. But even though, yo no sé si llovió anoche ahí donde ustedes, acá llovió, pero el día fue hot, right? Same, it was hot. Okay, yes. I heard that. Josué, Josué, me. Aquí está lloviendo recio, mis, así que ahí sí, no parezca un ratito en el fin. Okay, I understand. Me too. Hopefully, hopefully. <sighs> Hopefully, I don't have any more problems. Wait a minute. That's better. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I made you wait. I'm going to start with the attendance right now because um, it's late already. And we have some technical issues, but hopefully nothing is going to happen and we're going to be here. Because tomorrow we have vacation. Yay. Así que... Hopefully everything is gonna be good today. Okay. okay, let's go. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Angela Guadalupe Hernandez Sanchez. Present. Miss. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. <coughs> Eric José Reyes Molina. Erson Alexis Cune Sosa. Jennifer Maya Arias. Present, Miss. Johnny, Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Okay. Um, José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. María Julia Ramos Olivar. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Ok, I can see you, but I cannot hear you, María Julia. Creo que hay un problema con el audio. I think there is a problem. Ok. Pero aquí voy a tomar su asistencia, pero tratemos de arreglar el problema. <coughs> Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. José Az Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Díaz. Present, present Miss. Sandra y Elena Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Omar Seth Galicia López. Omar Seth Galicia. Um, Present. Amado Javier Rutia Rivera. Present Miss. Okay, thanks. Good. Okay, so as I was saying before, I'm sorry because I know we are having some problems. Everybody's having problems because of the rain. But good thing there is rain. Que bueno que lluvia, right? Because it was hot. Estaba haciendo mucho calor. Okay, hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Elon Musk's internet like the 
what is the name? Guy, I don't know what is the name. Something. I don't know. Starling. 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 I think I'm going to buy something. Definitely. Okay, see, because, because the internet and the power connection are my machetes, that means machetes, so I need to make the investment, okay? Hopefully, because yo no tengo otra conexión como la de ustedes, que son de fibra óptica, ya quisiera, right? But I don't live close to the city. I don't live. So I live really, really far away, and this is the price you have to pay. Es el precio que hay que pagar por vivir lejos, right? So we're going to... You have Jeep on teacher? What is it? You have Jeep on... I have what, Omar? You have, do you have Jeep on, Jeep on the... The internet? The internet. No, it's called yeah. Lightnet. It's called or, Lightnet. Or, 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 yeah, it's with an, it's with an antenna. Okay, because... Uh, hoy en día, nowadays, nowadays uh, are uh, the te technology uh, Japan, Jeep. a new a new technology of the yeah. of the Jeep. las empresas están tirando hoy en día está de moda eso ya están cambiando la, la technology the change the technology Hopefully, hopefully, because I need it. But meanwhile, hasta ahora, like I think, <clears throat> the only thing that I can do is sky, ah, forgot, sky is something, ah, my mind, it's hurting. Yeah, that's the only thing I can do now. But I'm going to look into Japan. Thank you, Omar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to okay. investigate, okay? Okay, por allí le va a estar llegando, ya sea claro, digo, porque... Right now, it is, uh, uh, there is a uh, into to um, with power. Se están, se están yendo con todos los poderes a, toda la, a todos los lugares con la, tecno, la tecnología Gipo. Sí, porque si no este Elon Musk con el Starlink le va a quitar, le va a quitar mucho, sí. mucho negocio. Oh, yes. En las zonas rurales donde yo vivo y donde trabajo también, no hay otros otro que tengan acceso. Así que la mayoría va a optar por Starlink. Pero si no exactly. tienen que moverse ellos para que lleguen hasta acá. Yes. yes. Starlink es mí, muy bueno. A la mí ya la perdieron como clienta con Starlink. ¿A quién? A usted. Me perdieron, no, con Starlink sí. De hecho ya, o sea, estoy ahorrando. De los pagos que van saliendo de estas mismas clases estoy ahorrando. Ya voy a ver dónde pongo esa antena porque, o sea, es mucho, mucho lo que me hacen perder clases. Y luego pareciera como que yo soy, pero no soy yo, right Es, es, es esto que se sale de mis manos. Pero voy a buscar eso que dice Omar, de eso de Gipón. Ya, yeah, me parece interesante. Thank you, Omar. Thank you. Okay. So, um, let's go with the class we have for today because we are missing here the time. And time is precious, right? Precious. Okay. So, we are already... <clears throat> we have been working in unit number two, right? And the last topic we saw, do you remember what was the last topic we saw? En lo que hemos estado viendo de último. Do you remember in addition, furthermore, moreover? And then you wrote a paragraph. ¿Se acuerdan del paragraph que vamos a hacer la presentación hoy? Right, we have a presentation, por eso no me querían contestar, right? So let's see, aquí tengo los break rooms que estaban. Vamos a ver presentation de group number. Primero vamos a ir con el group number two. En that group was Ana, Verónica, Johnny, Mónica, Oscar, Oseas, Rafael, and Sandra. ¿Están listos? Are you ready? ¿O quieren que les dé un momento para reunirse con sus equipos? Do you want a moment to go with your group? Yes, please, please. Yes? Okay. Yes, please. I'm gonna One go. moment. Y voy a añadir algunos que no estaban antes a estas salas. <coughs> so, I'm going to join here. It was in a break room one. Estaba Ángela. It was Eric Josué. <coughs> It was Javier. Javier, Javier. Javier. 
It was Jennifer. Jennifer. It was Maria Julia. It was Omar. <laughs> it was Blanca. And it was Ramiro. Okay, I'm going to go with the other group. <clears throat> it was Ana Veronica. Yo porque mandé a Ana Veronica al otro grupo. No, it's just this one. Ana Veronica. Ana estaba con nosotros. Yes, yes, I know. Ana, Johnny. Mónica, Mónica no está acá. Oh, yeah, she's here, ya está acá. Mónica, Oscar, 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 Oscar. Um, Oseas, Rafael Martínez, Sandra. Bueno, ahí voy a unir algunos que no estaban en, la, en esa clase. I'm going to make you be here in this class, okay? Yeah. I received an ask food. What is it? Aquí lo recibimos con los brazos abiertos. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Send them there. Open. Ramiro está en dos en dos cuentas. Good evening, Miss. Uh -huh. Excuse me, sí. Eh... Between my connecting, uh, I changed the, my cell phone on uh, my PC. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay, don't worry. Right okay, now, my... okay. It's Thank okay. you. Good to have you here.
Miss Excuse Me me sacó de oh, ok it's ok Disculpe. it's ok, don't worry gracias mm Okay, listen, I'm going to give you five minutes to organize your presentation. Para que también integren a los nuevos compañeros. And then we're going to come here to do the presentation, okay? Omar, you with in group number one or group number two? Oh, group number one, okay.
Okay, one more minute, everyone, and then we come back, okay? Okay, okay, so are you ready? We have had enough. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah. I'm gonna start with the group number. Let's see. Vaya, yo no me acuerdo dónde están algunas personas, entonces puedo decir el nombre de un participante y el que esté en ese grupo. Ese grupo va. Hay unos que no me acuerdo, de verdad no me acuerdo dónde están. Vamos a ir con el group number. Vamos a ver, quiero ver. Denis, Denis no estaba, así que no sé en qué grupo está. Denis no estaba, no sé en qué grupo está. Vamos a ver, Denis, dónde se encuentra. Denis, 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 Denis. Ay, espéreme, espéreme, espéreme. Denis, ni sé cuál grupo es el que está presentado, porque no me acuerdo cuál era. ¿En qué grupo está no, Denis? Nosotros, nosotros sí, ahí está, ahí está Denis, ya tiene su fragmento ahí. Oh, ok. okay. Era en el grupo 2. 2, yes. Oh, ok. Number 2. Number 2, Denis. Okay. Pero, 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 lo que voy a participar, voy a apagar la cámara. Sí, sí, Denis, no se preocupe, pues, va a apagar la cámara, sí. Su internet se escucha bastante mal, yes. Cuando dejo la cámara encendida, me saca. Okay. Ahí nos dice mis 3, 2, 1, 0 y ahí arrancamos. 3, 2, 1, go. 
Assertiveness for decision making at launching to achieve a positive impact on potential customers. In addition, the opinion of participant is obtaining first hand in a focal group allows the study of the target market. We have to furthermore analyze the behavior of the target market finally with the demonstration of the product. It is tested for success of failure. When you are about to release a new product, it's very important to identify what is the best product testing method. In addition to that, if you get a focus group to get a product, you may have some advantage like a fraternally inexpensive cost besides a variety of options. But when we are working we focus with focus group to test a product, sometimes we don't have enough stereotypes in the selected audience. Moreover, it's not considered that the participants are a part of the target language. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry que esta vez no pude ponerle pausa al video, así que fueron viendo lo que yo estaba anotando. I'm sorry about that, okay? <laughs> so, vamos a ver eh, pronunciation. Let me just go with pronunciation. Achieve, okay? Uh, success, no success, ¿verdad? Success. Identify, relatively, 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 inexpensive, Besides variety, esto puede ser un poco confusa. Variety, variety, ok. And considered, remember el sonido de la D, no, no diríamos considered, solo considered y target. Yo siento que esta es una palabra, I feel this is a word that many people mistake. Because some people's, this one, target. I feel that's a word that many people say target. I don't know, but many people say target. Mucha gente dice target. But remember, it's target, okay? In general, good presentation, you guys. Excellent. Good job. I liked it. Thank you. I like the information you put there, okay? So let's go with the next group. I think that case is going to be group number one, which is Angela, Blanca, Javier, Jennifer, Jose, Maria, Ramiro, and just, just them, okay? Let's go. Okay, good evening, co-workers. I will try to to be a, a, a little bit introduction. So the, the topic here tonight is implementing a focus group to the test of product. So with you, my friend, Ramiro, will start. Uh, the presentation, excuse me. I can't, I can't see. Yeah. see it. So just give me a second. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Implementing a focus group to the test a product. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ramiro, I'm sorry que lo interrumpa así tan feo. Eh, solo en un segundo porque no me gusta estarles interrumpiendo cuando ustedes están... Eh, hablando, me siento mal <ríe> así que voy a agarrar un lapicero y voy a ir anotando las palabras que no escuché bien, denme un segundo ¿qué? no tengo muy pensos wait a moment perdone que le interrumpiera Ramiro oh aquí tengo un penso ok, ok, you can go ahead I'm sorry, you can go ahead now, pueden ir ya ok I beginning yeah, please disadvantage when a group decides to launch a product, it's necessary to create methods for testing. What do you think about this process? In addition, we need to be sure if the product will be accepted by, accepted by cons consumer. Okay, Jennifer, continue. Furthermore, it could be of help for all the business. Moreover, not considering 
that the participants are part of the target language. Another disadvantage is a dominant personality within the group, moreover, when implementing a focus group. Okay, continue. So, finally, it is necessary to implement a focus group to this approach. In addition, uh, the group needs to get the best result. Another disadvantage is that not our participants share the same idea. Blanca continues. Advantage. Continuing with the advantage of implementing a, a focus group to test a product. We present the advantage and disadvantage of the focus group. Furthermore, on advantage is the perfection of quality of each person. Do you agree with this idea? In addition, it's relative, relative, inexpensive to implement these methods. Continue, Maria Julia. Hey, Julia, your microphone is off. It's not here. Ahorita. For the more, it's, uh, it's allowed to know the reality of the acceptance of the product. Moreover, it's it's is it's used to listen to listen to variety of opinion about the same idea. But another advantage consistent accurate and unbiased opinions. Uh, let's be um, unbiased with difference in opinion. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Vamos a la primera presentation. Let's go to the first one. Thank you. An applause. Un aplauso ahí para todos. No, the next one. I'm sorry, the second one. Okay, I'm going to help you with pronunciation. Solo que no recuerdo dónde estaban, así que si no me acuerdo, ahí me ayudan. Wait a moment. Okay. When a group decides disadvantages, the primero. Disadvantages. Okay. Disadvantages. disadvantages. Yes. Okay. Uh the next one will be wait a moment. Create. Create. This one. Create. 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 Yes. Then we have Consumers, consumers, consumers. Okay. This one, aquí me dijeron target. Y es target, again, target, again, como que fuera GUE, target, target, right? Luego, bueno, disadvantage, varias veces, disadvantage, disadvantage, over, moreover, when implementing, implementing, eso sería implementing, okay? <clears throat> okay, next, next, next presentation. Okay, aquí dice continuing with the advantages, the focus group to test the group with present the advantages, aunque otra vez aquí advantages and disadvantages, right? Oh, luego veíamos que decían each, pero no me acuerdo dónde está. I don't remember what it is. Ni siquiera me acuerdo si era en esta o en la otra. Pero se la voy a escribir, ¿ok? Y la voy a escribir para que la vayan viendo. Each. Esto les explicaba que no se dice each. Each. Porque eso es como each. Como picar o como más o menos. Esa es each. ¿Ok? No es ish. Porque escuchaba ish y no. Es each. Right? The other one will be... Allows, oh, I see that again. Okay, allows, it allows, allows. Okay, Hello. then used, used, 
No, used, no, used, no, used. You used. Ok, luego tenemos otra vez variety. Variety. Y same, porque me dijeron some. Y es same idea, same idea. Luego esta consist, consist. Y creo que esta que es vocabulario del día de hoy, que es unbiased. Ok, unbiased. Ok, excellent. Besides that, all good. Thank you very much for your participations. Let's give everyone an applause. Excellent. Good job, you guys. Okay. Very good. Yes, a okay. question. <clears throat> Rafael, tell me. Uh, what is uh, unbiased? Okay. I will answer that question. Yo respondería esa pregunta. But it's part of the vocabulary you will have to investigate or to look up for today. It's part of the vocabulary you're going to investigate today, okay? Okay. So I cannot tell you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Good thank job. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your participations. In general, if I can give you some advices, it will be, or they will be, to be more secure of yourselves. Don't read too much. It will be like, remember when you were like in fourth grade or third grade, cuando estamos en cuarto, quinto grado, that we, le re we read like en el bosque a pi a una casa y era so right we remember we spoke like that so what we try to do right now is to be more fluent when reading okay and what is gonna make that happen now que va a hacer que eso pase ahora if you practice okay because right now your english level is not there it's just not there so what you have to do is practice a lot read be sure of what you're going to say. If you have doubts, si tienen preguntas o dudas, if you have doubts about a word, look it up, okay? No solo se lo inventen en el momento. Look it up. You have to look up for the word because that's what we need to do to be a little bit more fluent and to be careful with pronunciations as well, okay? Well, <clears throat> let's go and continue here with this activity that the booklet says we need to do. And this one is a building vocabulary activity. As you know, in this module, we're trying to speak more, to do more presentations, because this is about you. Uh, it's about your English production, right? So the first part says, go online to find out. Find out means encontrar, right? Or you can say investigate, but in this case, we're gonna use find out, because it's a phrasal verb. Go online and find out more about key terms. Do you know the meaning of key terms? Uh, terminos claves. Correct. Thank you very much. So yeah, about key terms related to product testing. Write a sentence using each key term. So what you have to do now is this, okay? Pay attention. If you don't understand, you ask me again. So we have one, two, three, four key terms. The first one is targeted sample. Next one is random sample. Next, competitive threat. And last one, unbiased, right? The word you were asking for. One more time, pronunciation. Targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased. What you're going to do with this <clears throat> is you're going to make a presentation. You can make the presentation as you want. You can make it on Word. You can make it on PowerPoint. You can make it on uh, Canvas, whatever you want, okay? What I want you to do is look for the meanings of these terms. You're going to look on the internet. Okay, and you're gonna look for the meaning of these terms. And you're gonna explain to me, gonna explicarme, you're gonna explain to me what they mean, que significan, okay? For each term, for each word, okay? For each key term, por cada término clave, for each key term, you're gonna make a sentence, okay? Van a hacer una oración con ese término, yes? You're gonna make a sentence. So one more time. You're gonna make a presentation. It can be on any app you would like or any software. It can be on 
PowerPoint, it can be on Word, whatever you want, okay? Not on Excel because that doesn't work. You can put some pictures, pueden poner imágenes, whatever you want, okay? It's your creativeness, su creatividad, right? It's on you. And then you're going to explain each key term to me. Me van a explicar ahí in the uh, presentation each term to me. Then van a decir, van a escribir ustedes una oración de ustedes que salga de ustedes usando estos términos, cada uno de estos términos, ¿ok? Para entender, para just to know if you're understanding how to use them. Si ya están entendiendo cómo usarlos en una sentence, ¿ok? So, again, meanings, explain to me what they mean, one sentence per each. You can add pictures if you want. Do we understand the activity? Is the activity clear for you or not? No. Not, not, no, it's clear. excuse me. Okay, it's okay. Voy a explicarlo de nuevo. Vamos a hacer una presentación, ya sea en cualquier cosa, Word, PowerPoint, Canvas. Cada presentación va a tener, por ejemplo, Target Example. Target Example va a decir, me va a investigar usted en internet qué significa Target Example. Me lo va a poner ahí, ¿ok? Me lo va a poner en descripción, bla, 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 bla. Por imágenes si usted gusta. Y abajo me va a poner un ejemplo de una oración donde usted esté utilizando esta frase. Y así sucesivamente. ¿Got it now? Clear. Clear? Ok, perfecto. Okay, thank you. Excuse now, me, Miss. Yeah, Sandra, tell me. Por cada uno de los de los que tenemos acá, vamos a hacer ejemplos y vamos a poner lo que significa. Yes, correct. Okay, okay perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Cuidado con los audios. Ya les apagué uno ahí. <coughs> Give me a moment. Ok. There we go. Oh, y luego vamos a venir a presentar eso. Se me olvidaba dato importante. Por getting that. But means the, these examples could be wherever. For example, it would be in a conversation or just the the sentence. Plus the sentence, yes. The, the okay. sentence. For example, okay. the sentence, yes. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go everyone. You have the invite. Ahí tenemos las invitaciones.
Oseas, are you there? Okay, okay, let's start. We choose one term and we are investigate, Miss. Todos, todos, all the terms, yes. all the key terms. Yes. Oh, everyone is looking up in the Everyone is, yes, is searching and then, a meaning. And then you're going to join it together? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. Eh, with the vocabulary. Okay, Miss, estamos trabajando en ver cada uno. Hemos tomado uno de este, de estos espacios para poder este, después trabajarlo en la, en la presentación. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, Ambiasa. Um, I need your help. I need you can work with Javier or someone else, Omar. Okay. Yes. I will start with with the ex Sandra, what happened? <laughs> Me sacó es el internet. Uh, ahí pueden con Ramiro, con yes. Ramiro.
significado, hay dos significados, uno eh, que compartió María Julia y el otro de mi parte. Okay. Yo voy a copiar, voy a copiar ambos. Un seco, Okay. Uh, one, two, three, two. Sí, entonces, Aquí está, ahí está. Esas son las oraciones o los significados. No, son los, los significados. Ajá. Significados. Yes. Ok, eh, pero me borró el otro. Ok, el anaranjado que es target. Miss, excuse me. Ok, tell me. Miss, yes, eh, el, el, vaya, por ejemplo, este es el primer ejemplo. Targeted sample. Targeted. Eh, targeted. 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 Eh, la traducción, ¿teníamos que hacer la traducción en español? No, no, no. No, no. Pero pueden, okay. si quieren dejarla, pueden dejarla. Pero es el meaning el que yo quería. The explanation. Y después. Ah, ok. Ok. Entonces esto es. Oh, oh. Ya hice desorden. Oh, oh. Ahí está. Okay. Uh oh oh. It's a group of people, data, etc., that is chosen from a larger, a larger group without using any any system, plan of or rule. Okay. Y este es un ejemplo. Is correct, Miss. El ejemplo cuál es? No, una, la oración ejemplo. Ah, ok. La oración ejemplo que tenemos es Yesterday I required a sample or to perf perfum perfume that is uh -huh. advertised on television. Yes. O es muy largo. ¿Dónde va la palabra target example? Las dos palabras, ¿dónde van? Ah, Yesterday I requ request a target sample. Ok, 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 thank you. O sea, new perfume. Perfume. Yes. yes. O sea, que pero target sample, pero, un... pero un target sample es diferente a un sample. Ok, so target sample puede ser yo fui ah. de un target sample. O que, por ejemplo, oh, yes, okay. I was part of a target sample for a new perfume. Ayer yo fui parte. De una muestra para un ah. le voy a dar la oración aquí voy a pa so, como... okay, okay. yesterday I was part of a targeted sample for a new perfume ok 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 esta es, es la es la es el ejemplo la verdad Yes. La oración ejemplo con, yes. con lo que dice el yes. target yes. sample. Yes. Ok. Ok. Thank you, Miss. Customers. Ok. So here we need the example. Here, right? Uh -huh. sí. Here we need the example. I will try to. It's really difficult to use the computer. Hello. Okay. Hello. Uh, uh, definition of value is the same. The comparative press. La que se ha copiado. Tiene que ser la que le sigue. Some sign or some. Like this? Sí. Okay, it's just ready for the example. Example number three. Okay, I'm not in the break rooms. I just want to tell you something. Recuerden que hay que poner eh, los significados, los significados así, ¿verdad? Cortito, de menos de una línea. Significados, no traducciones. 
y hay que poner ejemplos por cada una de las palabras. También busquen la pronunciation, ¿ok? Look for pronunciation. Si no saben cómo decir una palabra, look for pronunciation, ¿ok?
Ok, five more minutes para que se pongan de acuerdo, afinen detalles, pronunciación, and then we come back.
Yo hablando con el micrófono apagado, qué vergüenza. Si es el efecto de que yo, we want to meet, right? Okay, anyways, I was saying before. Uh, excellent, I think we're ready. Are you ready? Yes, you're ready? I'm biased. Yes. Okay, excellent. Now let's go with the group number, hmm. Let me see, we're gonna start in the middle. We're gonna start with the group number two. Eric, Jennifer, Osea, Ramiro, Sandra, and Silvia. Let's go. Hello. Okay, Ramiro. Give me one a minute, okay. please. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You can see the, my my screen. Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I... No terminamos de no terminé de hacer el 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 mismo formato. Excuse okay. me. It's okay. Don't finish. Okay. okay. Uh, Sandra. I start. Eric, do you want yes. to start, please? Okay. Number one targeted. Sample is consists of selecting the elementary unit of the population according to the judgment of the rich pressure. Since the selected unit and the other representative representative. Example, yesterday I was part of the target sample. Okay. Um... Perfume. Perfume. Solo voy a darle unas um, indicaciones. Sería okay. researchers, researchers, researchers y representativeness. Representativeness. Yes. Representativeness. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Next partner. Okay, me. Okay, um, random sample. Definition is a group of people, data, etc., that is chosen from a larger group without using any system, plan, or rule. For example, the survey interviewed a random sample of 850 adults. Okay, thank you. So, let's give the pronunciation performance. Okay. Said, yeah, this one is etc., right? Etc. And this one is chosen and larger group. Larger group. And here will be 850 adults. 850 adults. Okay, okay. continue. Okay, the uh, Eric. Okay, okay. Uh, on basis, um, being impartial means not being in favor, on favor of any faction or bias, and consequently maintaining an objective position in relation of the faction in conflict. Uh, for example, he raised million for good causes and deserves uh, a fair and unbiased investigation. And in other words, uh, maybe uh, another good example would be um, a referee in a match. Uh, because he, he, he is in uh, a favor of uh, both team. Okay, thank you, that... thank you, Eric. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. So, a synonym for bias could be impartial, right? So, remember, the pronunciation is unbiased, okay? Unbiased. Unbiased, and this one is biased. This is 
bias. On bias. Okay, okay. 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 He raised millions for good causes and deserves a fair and unbiased investigation. Okay. Good. Continue. A competitive threat. Third is um when the enemy the enemy is a, um, a look insider with our our company for example uh, he raised a million for good causes causes and deserves a fair and unbiased investigation unbiased um, unbiased. Ramiro, Ramiro this example is the same as the other one uh, excuse me Excuse me, I. Uh, you didn't, you, have, to, okay. you didn't yes, have time yes. to finish. Yes. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. So, but do you have me. do you have the meaning for competitive threat? No, 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 Miss. No. No, no logré eh, ponerlo. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Pero quién lo investigó de ustedes? Sí, Eric eh, lo tiene. Okay, Eric, can you tell me? Okay, let me let me. Let me see, because I only send the the, the, the meaning. Yes, give me a second. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, uh, a comp a competitive. Uh, excuse me, Eric. I I I have her right now. Okay. A, comp a competitive okay, okay. is competition that has occurred but has potential to occur. In other words, is on is a re a risk of competition. Uh, as with uh, any risk, a uh, competitive third third has probability and impact, and may be third. Okay. Okay. This Good. Is the expression. Yes, ex excellent, Ramiro. So it's not a competition that is already there, but it's yes. a risk that will have a competition, right? Sí, es a competitive treat for new products. Okay. For example. Perfect. Excellent, Ramiro. Thank you very much. Excuse me, classmate. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Things happen. Okay. Um, Don't worry. Ramiro, choose one group. Number one or number two? Number two. Okay. No, I mean number one or number three because you're group number two. Uh, excuse me. Number three. Okay, so it will be Ana, Veronica, Angela, Blanca, Javier, Johnny, Jose Alfredo, Omar, and Rafael Martinez. Okay, you go, guys. Okay, good evening, friends. I will share my exposition. Okay, and so. Blanca, can you start? Okay. Target, targeted samples. Direct or intentional sampling, it consists of selecting the elementary units of the population according to the judgment of the research examples. We are select and making a target targeted samples with a rank of age of five to nine years or on base of the gender. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay. Uh repeat with me, Blanca, okay? Directed or intentional sampling. Director, directed, or directed, directed, or intentional sampling, or intentional sampling. It consists. It consists of selecting the elementary. Of selecting the elementary units of the population. Units of the population. Population population according to the judgment according to the judgment 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 of the researchers 
of the researchers. Example. Examples. Y aquí sí vamos a eliminar el R porque está de más. Entonces sería, we select. We select. Eh, no entiendo por qué está esta Ana aquí, si es making. We select in making a targeted sample. In. Supongo que es in como de I, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a decir, we select in make. We select, select in. in make. Targeted sample. Targeted sample. With a range of age. With a range of age. From five. From five. To nine years old. Go or go to? Two, two nine, nine years old. Two nine years old. Unbiased of the gender. Unbiased of the gender. Excellent. Good job, Blanca. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. So, Rafael, continue. Are you there? Yeah. What is the powerful? Random, random sample. Random sample. Sample in which which is, is every one of the element of the population has a certain probability is being choose, choose our country and you are testing a product. Example, my team and my, I will make a survey on where you are, want to go for a lunch this day. Okay, excellent. Solo vamos a ver algunas. Eh, yo creo que ahí donde dice of being chosen, post probability of being chosen. Ahí se diría separado y creo que va or. Chosen or. Ok. Sería verdad. Ok. Excelente. Continue with the next one. Competitive threat. Prepares to the competition a company face in the market. The more competitors that are in the market, the more difficult it is for a company to attract and retain customers. Example, my company is working for three years with the competitive threats and the different competitive companies. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Solo que es threats. Recuerden que es threats con H with letter H. Okay, um, I don't know who wrote it. But it's threat, T H, right? It's T H. Porque si dicen treat, eso es como, como regalos, treat. Por eso cuando van a, así sería correcto, threat. Porque si lo escriben como treat, es como truck or, truck or treat, que dicen cuando van en la, a los, uh, en Navidad, ¿verdad? En Navidad, perdón, Halloween. <laughs> truck or treat. <laughs> okay, and I will read the last one unbiased something or someone who is not unbiased who does does not lean toward or favor any one position or idea example when reviews are unbiased and honest they are incredible useful excellent so let's say honest honest unbiased and honest, honest. yes okay excellent thank you very much yes good job Okay, thank you. Thank you, group number three. Give them an applause and let's go with group number one. Dennis, Jocelyn, Maria Julia, Monica, Oscar, and Rafael Antonio. Okay. Okay, so the presentation, the signification, and sorry, meanings, 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 meanings. Okay, then it starts with the tiger sample. Survey sample. 
means a official uh, sentence which is taken for the uh, purpose of the, the detecting illegal treatments or non compliance Okay, thank you. Uh, solo vamos a leer ahí purpose. Purpose. Non compliance. Non compliance. Okay, excellent. Very good. Um, bien, eh, solo déjenme hacerles una observación. Quiero leerlos todos para ver si todas están así. Okay, las dos primeras, ok, no están aplicadas al marketing. Porque donde dice target example, dice eh, tomar una muestra para ver si algo no está ilegal o si no tienen una, como un compadraje en algo, ¿verdad? Y aquí serían personas que se toman, eh, en el significado real son a, mm, number of people, si hay 100 personas, yo voy a tomar 10 y esas 10 son mi target example, ¿verdad? Y la segunda dice sample to determine if there is a contamination in the passengers. Aquí dice eh, un random example, un random sample es una muestra random para determinar si hay alguna contaminación en los pasajeros. Ok, so, entonces no sería en ese caso. Podríamos cambiarlo por este seleccionar una persona de forma random y que no tenga nada que ver con el producto, ¿verdad? Pero estamos bien. You continue. Ok, let's continue. Ok, random sample. To determine if there is contamination in the passengers. Continue. Competitive threat. A competitive threat is competition that hasn't occurred but has potential to occur. In order, in other words, it is a risk of competition. Excellent. On vice is free from vice, especially free from all prejudice and favor favorism. Okay, repitamos unbiased. Unbiased. Bias. Unbiased. Bye. Solo la palabra bias. Bias. Prejudice. Prejudice. Favoritism. Favoritism. Okay, excellent. Good job. Thank you. Let's continue with the examples because I think you have examples, right? Hi. Uh, the, the first example is the Ministry of Health takes targeted sample of the new product called Chungenga. A second example, random sample, were taken at the Central America Games to verify doping. And third example, if you want to work in your own business, you have to evaluate the competitive threat. In the final example uh, is in the following votes, I will be unbiased. Okay. It will be in the following election, right? In the following election. Yes, in the following election. Okay, excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay, just to make sure, now we have four meanings, okay? This ones. Now, the number one, it's called a targeted sample. As you can know right now, a targeted sample is a number of people, okay? So for example, when people take surveys, and this is very popular here in El Salvador, when people make surveys about the president or about the, about any, right, like the senators and everyone here in the, in the politics of El Salvador, right? So, they don't ask every single people, right? No le preguntan a todas las personas de El Salvador, right? Cuando dicen el presidente tiene un porcentaje de aprobación, ni aquí, neither here, ni en Estados Unidos, le van preguntando a una persona por una persona, right? So what do they do? ¿Qué hacen en ese caso? What do they do? They take the majority. 
the majority. Not no, really. take, take the muestra. So that will be, how, how do you say muestra in this case? They do a? Muestra. Targeted. No, no. They do el number one. They do number one. They do a targeted yes. sample, right? They do a targeted sample. The targeted sample will be, for example, from Usulutan, they will take, eh, pensemos en la pop population, depende de cada eh, eh, departamento, vamos a hacerlo de la siguiente manera. Si tal departamento tiene, eh, yo qué sé, ¿cuánto, ¿cuántas personas tiene un departamento? Yo no sé, like 100 mil, digamos que hay 100 mil. Let's think about it. A hundred thousand, ok. A hundred thousand people. Entonces vamos a decir, por cada mil, vamos a entrevistar ¿cuántos? One. Mil. Right? Por cada mil vamos a entrevistar uno, right? So, cien mil, solo vamos a entrevistar ¿cuántas personas? Eh, mil. One hundred. Cien. One hundred. Solo vamos a entrevistar cien personas de ese departamento. Then we go to another, then we go to another one, right? En el otro no tenemos cien eh, mil, sino que tenemos... Eh, let's think about it, 200 mil en este caso. So en este departamento, I'm going to interview 200 people, right? Uh -huh. Right? So in this case, I have a targeted sample, right? I have a targeted sample because I'm not asking everyone, yes? But I'm asking some people, some people. Now, to get an unbiased targeted sample, and now you know what is an unbiased, right? To get an unbiased targeted sample, I would like to take people from different, right? And the targeted sample from different backgrounds. Do you know what is a background? Uh, like, uh, el transcurso de, 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 de la vida, experiencias, algo así. Okay, so they will be like el, 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 los antecedentes, right? Like como los antecedentes, they, exactly, Eric. For example, people who live in the countryside, los que viven en Cantón, people who live in the city, people who live in a small town, que viven en pequeños pueblos. Eh, de cada departamento yo voy a necesitar gente de, que gane de tanto dinero a tanto dinero, gente que trabaje para el gobierno, gente que trabaje para una empresa privada, gente que trabaje para different, right? So the targeted sample is more complex than it looks, right? No es que yo me voy a ir, right? It's not that I'm going to go to el parque, to the park, and I'm going to be like, okay, usted venga, le voy a preguntar, así, random. Eso es un random sample, right? Yes? Do you get the, the difference now? So we have a targeted sample and we have a random sample. When we have a targeted sample, we choose the people. Not exactly the person, but for example, in a target example, we need personas que ganen de tanto a tanto. Yes? Yes, uh, selection. The yeah. Voice. You have to select the people before you go to the interviews, right? For example, I'm going to interview people who make uh, money like around 500 to 1,000. That's 500 a mil. Okay, that people is going to be my target example. Or I can say, todas las personas que ganen the minimum wage. ¿Qué es the minimum wage? El salario mínimo. Correct. So I'm only going to interview people who uh, uh, make the minimum wage. So that's a target example because you go with the idea. Also, another one, ustedes creen que yo le puedo preguntar a una persona de 17 años, de 16 años. ¿Por quién va a votar en las próximas elecciones? No, no puede. I cannot ask, right? Because they cannot vote. So that won't be part of my targeted sample. My targeted sample has to be these people because they do this, because they can vote, because they can do this. Or for example, si estoy probando un producto eh, femenino, ¿voy a ir a entrevistar hombres? So that's not correct, right? I'm going to interview only women, right? Because that is my target sample. Now, let's go with the next one. Um, y les voy a decir algo antes de ir a la siguiente. siguiente construyendo con lo que ustedes me han dicho. Because I started the class, porque yo empecé la clase, because I started the class seven minutes late, right? Si no con... No, Consigo llegar a esos siete minutos más, 
ustedes saben que nos van a hacer volver a repetir esta clase, right? Ya lo han hecho. Yes. ¿Ya? ¿Se acuerdan que lo hicieron una vez? So, nos quedamos yes, yes, a las 10 y 7. No, nos vamos y repetimos toda la clase. No hay problema. Quedémonos, Miss. Only seven minutes. And then, okay. van a tener una semana libre. Five minutes. Almost. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, you guys. Thank you for understanding. 30 minutes. 40 minutes? No, thank you. <laughs> 30. 30. Oh my God, I've been sleeping in 30 minutes. Okay, excellent. Now let's go with a random sample. Now, because we understand the key term targeted sample, now we go with the term random sample. So what is a random sample? In this case, I don't have to think about the people that I'm going to interview, right? In this case, I just go and interview. Okay, now, it is important to identify this. Where do you think you're gonna use a targeted sample? And where are you going to use a random sample? Quiero que piensen, think about it. Un example de cuando puedo usar cualquiera. Cuando puedo usar, when am I gonna use a targeted sample? And when am I going to use a random sample? Um, target sample is um, cuando estamos probando un perfume vamos a, a tomar quizás personas mayores de 18 años que sean mujeres, perfume de mujer ¿no? ok yes. okay. Eh, el, el, el otro sería como una, una aplicación pongamos que la vamos a tirar al mercado vamos a agarrar cualquiera que encontremos por ahí, se podría hacer It can be, it can be, depending de qué trata la aplicación. Okay, good example. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, thank you very much. Appreciate your participation. Someone else? To apply the test exam, uh, the evaluation, and the ambassador. That is targeted or random? Is unbiased. Unbiased. Unbiased, imparcial. Okay. We're talking about your bias, okay? What an exam. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Ana Veronica. Okay, someone with a targeted sample and random sample. For example, let me give you a situation, okay? This is going to be better. I'm going to give you a situation and you tell me, targeted sample or random sample, okay? If I am trying to launch a new product, and they are cookies, right? They are cookies. And I want to get a sample of people who like the cookies and people who don't like the cookies. So in this case, will you choose a targeted sample or a random sample? Uh, random, random example. Random sample, right? Easy, easy. Because it is not important the age, the gender, cuánto gana alguien. No, it's, it's okay, right? It can be a random set. Now let's think about another one. Let's think about another one. I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. I have a new one. Have you ever seen, han visto alguna vez, when some companies que no tienen sede, tal vez no lo han visto porque si viven en San Salvador, pero por ejemplo yo, I live in Usulután, right? So, acá no tenemos todos los comercios. We don't have, for example, we don't have a McDonald's. We don't have a Papa John's. We don't have, ¿qué más no tenemos? We don't have a lot of things. Like, we don't have a movie theater. No tenemos cine. We don't have, we don't have, we don't have many. We don't have, we don't have Taco Bell. We don't have, we don't have many things, okay? So, let's try to think a company wants to have a branch, right? Ya saben que es un branch, ¿verdad? Una nueva Marca. posición. Una nueva sucursal. Sucursal, yes. So they have a, they, they want to have a new branch in Usulután. For example, the thing, I don't know, McDonald's. Would they want to have a, a, a branch in Usulután? But they don't have one. But they want to see before coming to the, to the department, how many people will go, if people like it, if people, whatever, right? No van a ir a regalar a McDonald's, right? They are not going to go sell McDonald's. Ellos lo que hacen, 
es poner un como, acá le llaman la Whopper House. De repente viene la Whopper House, que es como un trailer. Ajá, es un trailer, yes, es un trailer, el, esos vagones de los trailers que están. Un furgón. Exactly. And they sell hamburgers, right? Y venden hamburguesas. Y venden hamburguesas que están como un mes, dos meses, one month, two months. Okay. They, la gente no lo sabe, but they, they are taking samples, right? How the market will work. Cómo el mercado funcionaría. Y vienen en diferentes meses. O sea, ellos de hace años hacen ese estudio de mercado. Vienen en enero a veces, vienen a veces a final de año, vienen a veces a mediados de año y hacen su, sus samples. What do you think that is? That is a targeted sample or that is a random sample? Random sample. Random, random. random sample, random sample, right? Because they don't choose the people, right? La gente solo pasa por el parque y they say, oh, I'm going to buy a hamburger. But they don't choose. Ellos no eligen. They don't choose the people. Okay. Now let's think about another one. Another one can be. Okay. You're trying to launch. Okay. A new phone. Okay. This new phone has particular features. Eh, como eh, features. No sé cómo decir eso en español. Features. Características. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the like yes. Hay características. Uh, the phone has particular features for people who like to program. Para la gente que puede o le gusta programar. Right? So, que tiene para códigos and codes and stuff like that. Para este tipo de teléfono, yo haría un target sample o random sample. Target, target sample. Target, target sample. Target sample. Target sample. Because if I do a random sample y yo le pongo a alguien que apenas puede usar WhatsApp para hacer un teléfono que puede programar, funcionaría. No. No. No funciona de ninguna manera. So it will be random. Sería random. Okay. Thank you for your participations, everyone. Estamos entendiendo. Now, let's go with competitive threat. This one, I think almost everyone got it correct. Casi todos lo tuvimos correct. Right? Correct. A competitive threat. It's like, I, people, well, let's take the example again of McDonald's, okay? So here in Usulután, the hamburgers we have are Wendy's, right? We have Wendy's. Many people go to Wendy's and Wendy's and Wendy's and Wendy's. So when the Whooper House comes to Usulután, that is a competitive threat for... ¿Para quién es un competitive threat cuando viene la Whooper House? Wendy's. Wendy's, right? Because they are not here yet. No están acá, no tienen sede, no? They don't have one. Pero es una competitive, ¿qué? Third. Threat. Third. Pero si ellos ya estuvieran en el departamento, ¿qué serían para Wendy? Random. Mm -mm. No está en los meanings que acabamos de ver. ¿Serían qué? Competition. Ya serían competition, right? Ya no es una competitive threat, es una competition. Mm -hmm. Because ya están acá, ¿ok? Ahí vamos entendiendo. Excelente. No se me duerme, estoy intentando ayudarles a explicarles. And on bias, this is the last one, and this I think is pretty clear. On bias is a person or a brand or anything that doesn't have preference with anyone. For example, what you say, in a, a targeted market or a random market has to be on bias, ¿verdad? Un... un, un, un Una muestra que yo necesito de la gente tendría que ser unbiased, right? Porque si no es unbiased, no me van a dar una opinión, eh, dice? Una opinión honesta, right? Oh, an honest opinion, they won't give me an honest opinion. Now, do you understand the terms? ¿Entendemos ahora un poco mejor los términos? Yes. Get them? Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go with the last attendance because I know we all want to go to Mimir. I want to go Mimir, me too. Yes. I'm just gonna Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Angela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Denise Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Okay. 
Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. Gerson Alexis Funesosa. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, Miss. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Antes de que se empiecen a ir todos, porque ya vi que se están yendo, ¿ok? Recuerden que toda la semana no vamos a tener clases, right? Remember, we don't have classes all week hasta el Monday, ¿ok? So, okay. cuídense mucho porque el virus ahí está todavía. Bueno, no hay virus. Bueno, sí hay virus, pero cuídense. Sí, ¿no? hay. Take care, right? Take care, take care. Cuídense de las lluvias, especialmente porque está bien feo. Ok, eh, let's see. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonia. Present. Seas Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Vieron ahí por ahí a Rafael, yo creo que lo vi. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Omar Seth Galicia López. Amado Javier Urruti Rivera. Present, Miss. Ok, that will be it for today and I will see you guys next Monday. Ok, have a good vacation. Take care. Se me cuidan. Ok, take care. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Have a good night and a good vacation. Bye, Miss. Be careful. Bye. You too. Take care. Bye-bye.